In this video, we're gonna use a lot of transparent Copic or Blender because the fabric here is a print that looks a little abstract and has a gradation color on it. So prepare the transparent or white plastic for using a blender. But the first step that we have to color is basically the shading part of the clothes because it's a mix of white and shadows of blue. Uh, the shading part will be using a C1 gray. So uh, because it's still white but yet there is a lot of uh, shading because of the folded part because he's wearing a belt and also the clothes itself is quite oversized so and since moving there is definitely a lot of lines and detail that we need to color so the c1 will be perfect to making the shading and after adding the c1 uh, let's prepare the shadows of blue and we're gonna use a quite light blue and then also later a navy blue and a dark gray to mix uh, some of the dark color on the prints so i'm just gonna speed up the process of the shading part and after that we will add shadows of blue using blender and make sure that you already have the plastic and put the blue on the plastic and start putting it with the blender if the blender has been used for a previous look and if you think that you still have a color uh, on the tip of the blender make sure you clean up first by uh, brushing the blender into another paper until the colors come off and after that you can use for the next uh, looks like this one so basically you don't have to buy a lot of blender but you just have to clean up before you using it on another look so here just try to add several blue make sure that you have at least three blue colors so one shade is supposed to be the darker one which is the blue navy and then maybe you have to add a darker gray color as well later on but here we're starting with the soft color first as usual it's always easier to start coloring it with the base or the lighter color and then later build up with a darker color it's gonna be quite some time to finish this because the detail of the prints is quite complicated and the color it's a bit like gradation so uh, i know that it's not gonna be that fast to color on this look and beside the prints also there is another detail she's wearing a belt in the middle of her waist so the belt uh, will be a quite shiny but it looks a bit black so it might be a dark metal kind of uh, belt so we might need to color it with black or dark gray color for the belt and then give a shiny effect using a gel pen so we're back talking about the clothes detail so the print itself has a quite dark effect on her arm so here I add the transparent copic or the blender on this part and also a gray color and after that I add a navy blue I put it on the plastic and add it with a blender and start coloring it on the paper so after that I also add the navy blue right away but of course I add the blender first uh, at the base so I need the final outcome of the darker blue doesn't look too harsh and still blend well with the other color and also don't forget to keep the reference near you because it's gonna be easier to color the abstract pen if you have the reference with you and also on this look uh, you don't have to worry if you think that you make the look a little bit patchy because might be a little too hard for you to make it very neat and clean because you have to blend uh, a lot of colors and also it's a bit like a gradation so uh, it won't be easy uh, to mix up all the colors together 
so basically you just have to practice using the blender so at least the final outcome still look like or still represent the photo or the reference picture so basically it's gonna take quite some time to finish uh, it's gonna be a quite long process so i'm just gonna speed up the tutorial here and it's the same process like before you just have to finish the pants and after that we're gonna start to color the sandals so it's using a uh, yellow sandals and also there is like a gold chain on her ankle so make sure that you prepare a small gel gold pan for the details of the sandals and also you might need a soft gray or a C1 for the shading details of her sandals and after that we can start to finishing the belt so we already colored the belt with a black uh, marker or a darker gray copy color and after it's dry you have to add the shiny effect using a gold gel pen on the left side and also a white gel pen on the right side so it's basically how it looks on the reference picture and after finishing the belt you can always uh, check on your drawing if overall it still looks too raw or it still not have uh, enough detail of the shading part you can always add the C1 again to make the overall color looks more relevant and as usual as the final steps I'm adding a micro pen uh, to add to divine the lines uh, more neatly because sometimes when we color with Copic we made a little mistake or we overlap the color with the sketch so this micro pen will help us to make the outcome looks better 